Welcome back to uh, the worst version of Wheel of Fortune I've ever oh. seen. Oh no, it's going <laughs> right through his junk. Uh, otherwise known as Gabriel Knight 3, and when we last were here, about uh, we got ourselves killed. Me very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, big room, big swinging pendulum thingy, and big column thingy in the middle. You can probably deduce what we need to do, and it's just all about timing. So I'm gonna hang out here a moment. And yump, away we go. Oh boy. To attempt to not mistime this. <laughs> and I mistimed it. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't seem to, uh, to work too well. Nope. It's all about timing and I didn't have it. <laughs> All right, let's resituate the camera here. Hop. And let's try again. <laughs> and I was too slow that time. <laughs> this might be a while. <laughs> this here, is the part you know, of the end game where we die a lot. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of reminiscent of the uh, the zombies from the first one, where it's like, you gotta be pixel perfect or you're dead. And as we've already experienced, that's pretty much what's happening here. There we go. Like, you have to do it on, like, as soon as, a, as, soon as, a, as you're able to, to do it. Which is kind of annoying. All right. I'm starting to really hate this place. Oh boy. I like the uh four. I, I don't know what sound effect you want to go with on that one, but Gracie, can you give me a rundown on the meaning of the circle? It represents eternity, utility and perfection. Uh okay. Well, I mean, that's a pretty obvious hint that, uh, obviously, I think we're looking to balance this, but I think we have to use all of these circular objects. Well, I shouldn't say I think, because I kind of cheated this. and have already done and have already done this because I wanted to avoid dying multiple times, but you see how well that's worked out so far. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. And we'll take the last circular object we have. Hey. And away we go. We we did a thing. Works for me. And now the pendulum falls on you. No, not quite. I don't know how I feel about the whole like unsolved mystery sound effect going on in there. I've been wondering. I read that about sliding the tone all over the place, the but I'll shut up for a uh, really story. Exists, doesn't he? And it has something to do with the blood of Jesus? Uh Yes, Grace. But it's not the way the legends claim, is it? Jesus cursing someone to go on. No. The vampires didn't get the blood of Jesus. But someone else did. Ah, oh, yes. Ali, the headmaster's son, was among those who accompanied Jesus back to Jerusalem. For three years, he watched Jesus teach. It was, well, amazing. But in the end, neither he nor his father could stop Jesus from his course. The day of the crucifixion, Ali's father was so ill with grief that he had to be carried from Golgotha. Ill with Only grief and whiskey. To keep vigil. <laughs> Ali could not believe it was ending. All the promise of the Kenosh Kanaya, all the centuries of planning were being destroyed. Jesus was allowing it to be destroyed. Something in him rebelled. He remembered Sine's words. And in his grief and rage, he thought he might be able to save the blood in himself. He did not mean to become the Kenosh Kanaya. You must understand that. He simply could not watch that hope spill into the ground. So he drank it. Oh, boy. Why hast thou forsaken me? 
This is wine the last time I had it. smooth, but I don't get it. If you've got the power of the Kenosh Kanaya, why didn't you stop the vampires a long time ago? I promised my father I would not use the power. Never. Not for anything. It is not mine to use. Oh, it was the only way I could live with what I had done. Never? Not for anything? No, Grace. Not for anything. But that must be... That must be... It is all right. There is work to be done. Do you hear anything now? So I became immortal and just kind of sat Damn. back and didn't do anything about it. with the fallen stuff already? <sighs> so, moving on. More things. King Solomon. I wonder what he's got to do with this place. Seriously, you haven't figured it out yet? <laughs> figured it'd be kind of obvious by now. Grace, yeah, I well. need a translation. I think it's Latin. Pentum initiantibus sacraorum signi super esse licet. Super esse. <laughs> Beware, only the initiates of the mysteries of the seal may survive. Is everything going okay? Piece of cake. I well, I haven't died yet. I spent too much time focusing on the <laughs> otter quite. rather than the seal. The mysteries of the great otter. <laughs> Okay, so we have a couple of steps here going on here. Uh, but we're going to examine everything first. Fire and water, eh? Why are you taking forever to walk over here? The camera is away from you. You should snap to it. Gracie, what does Elige Unum mean? Emilio says it means choose one. So the suspiciously look, suspicious looking fire and the all of the equally suspicious looking water. Yes. I could be mistaken, but that sure looks a lot like fire. A lot like no fire kidding. is pushing it. It's There's a vaguely recognizable as fire. Yes. Can I look at the stone here? There's a stone at the bottom. Yes. Okay. So, I'm not sure what the correlation is, because I have long since not paid very close attention to all of the stuff that's going on here. But I do know what the solution is. I see. Gotta use the right so, gloves? Yes. Because you have... Are you actually gonna walk? Okay, so you gotta... That one's pretty hip. I wonder if that's real gold. Pretty much a gold-looking thing. Not exactly something you wear to the opera. And then, looks like a leather looking thing. So, obviously, in my head, as in, you know, somebody who's played a bunch of adventure games, you're like, oh, I'm supposed to stick my hand in the fire. Well, wearing a metal glove and sticking it in the fire is probably not the best idea. That makes sense to me. <laughs> so, examine so I can actually focus on the stone. I'm sure somebody will point out how this is all connected, but like I said, um, I do not remember. <laughs> I actually got this right on the first try, thinking the way that I'm thinking right now. I mean, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we have two statues. I'm not sure which of these two I like the least. This one looks like he should be blocking the Garden of Eden. And this one gets a little think hmm. icon. This guy looks earthy and dangerous. Which, for me, was kind of a giveaway that I need to interact with I that. Think, I think I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was really useful. But then we have another transcription over here to uh, get translated. Grace, can you translate Elige Magistrum? Hold on. Yeah, it means choose a master. Thanks. So your choice is the sword and the staff? 
Yeah, but like I said, the the giving me the think icon was kind of a giveaway. And put the stone up there. Well, that did something. You can see that um, we have new things to look at. Oh boy. Ready for another one? Agnoske Naturam Mentis 2A. Identify the nature of your mind. One of the hands. Ah, uh, no. Thank you. No. There we go. So we have three buttons over here. The sun. Okay. It's a stylized beast. I know what you're thinking. You might even be right. Is that it looks Thanks like for a, breaking the fourth wall. It looks like a, it's a crappy yin Pokemon yang symbol. <laughs> the Templars must have picked that up in Asia. So, the nature of the mind, I think, at least, is pretty obvious which one you're supposed to push. Clonk. Here's another one for you. Agnoske Naturam Corporas Tui. Checking. Here, it reads, identify the nature of your body. Where are you? Well, it ain't Kansas. I'll buzz you later. All right, and then this one there. This one's a little bit weird. I think it's a mirror but it's tilted toward the ceiling. But when you see the two choices, I, I think it becomes it. pretty this obvious. This place isn't exactly tolerant of mistakes. So we can step on these. I said we can step on these. All right, here goes. <laughs> In theory, one could step on these if one were so inclined. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I need one of these at home. Is a funhouse mirror? No, oh, that's disgusting. All right, it's not a very fun and house then, anymore. No, and then obviously, just kind of thinking of things, you can probably figure out where to put that. The doors are open, and now we can go that way. Although ah. I forgot to look at the uh, inscription over there. It says choose a path. There you are. Did you see that huge pendulum thingy? What was up with that? Thank you for preparing the way. And, uh, sliced me in half trouble. several times. Glad yes. I could help. Yeah, we well, won't talk about I guess that. We have to pick I got, I got better. <laughs> we await your lead. I don't mean to be rude, but I thought you were supposed to be the expert. Never fear. We will be of use to you very shortly. We're here for you, bud. <sighs> So you can probably guess where to go here. Hmm. I, I mean, I keep making I keep making allusions to uh, uh, Last Crusade, and and this is kind of a, almost a dead nod to that. I think. <laughs> Gotta show your faith. Pretty much. All right. Guess we'll try this funky one. Well, Pretty this well. Is... We will. No, no, I'll go first. I insist. Thank you, Mr. Knight. <laughs> I'm Although it's not quite the same thing, considering it's it's a jumpy fla timing platform puzzle. Oh, joy. Because, you know, those are fun things in games like this. Oh, wait, this. hang on, hang on. I know the uh, I know the sound you should be making. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> From Mega Man. <laughs> yes, I had, to, I had to think about that for a second. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, right, the blocks. <laughs> now, I didn't screw this up, so since I'm on camera, I'm probably going to screw this up. <laughs> I, I, that makes sense to me, at least. I mean, that's generally how it goes, right? It doesn't seem as picky as the other puzzles. No, this one, it basically, it's just as soon as it comes up, you click on it. It doesn't, like, disappear out from under you if you're in the middle of jumping to it, which is nice, considering the animation is so slow. 
but I imagine if you hang around for too long, it probably just disappears out from under you, and uh, then you fall down. That makes sense but to me. I'm not about to. I'm not about to uh, attempt fate on that one. And hop off. Yay! We did the thing. Man, I hate that kind of thing. You hate it. I was the one who. Uh, uh, I told you we would be useful. Well, you haven't proven we anything about being the useful yet. Save the child. We will hold these three. Are you sure? No. Yes. Go on. You have a gun. Just shoot them. <laughs> That is clearly a doom boss. <laughs> yes, and here we are. Ah, it's one of those electric pentagrams. I should have known you for a treacherous liar. I'm a liar, and you're a blood-sucking vampire. Now Ooh, that ouch that burn. straight, <laughs> give me the kid. Stop, or I'll rip him to pieces right now. You, uh, uh, you can't do that. You've got to have time to savor a good vintage, you ignorant dog, you piece of refuse. You have no idea who I am. I, I have some idea now. Yeah. And suck the marrow from your broken bones. Yeah? Why don't you come out of there and give it your best shot, old man? Domini inferi, exodite. You know, it's getting serious as we're talking in Latin. Yeah, but nobody's torn their shirt off yet. I call upon the protector, Asmodeus, guardian of sacred treasure. Not good. This one has come to steal the treasure. So this is like super finicky, but we're going to try to do this right the first time. Good luck. Or at least I'm going to... I'm gonna hope I do it right the first time. So there's your your hint about what to do is right there, but we need to get in a different position. Now here's the thing: is it gonna be dumb? No. Okay. I'll talk about this puzzle in a bit, but let's do this and let's at least finish this and get the ending here. Dang, that is a it's a fine knife. Yeah, it's a good time we finally use it. It's holy blood. No, no, it's holy blood. Holy. Huh. <laughs> well, let's enjoy the cheesy ending, shall we? Also, these people don't know how babies work. <laughs> Throw baby! <laughs> As in, like, it would not be laying that still. Crash. Is he it? Is that the last of them? I think so. You have done very well. We owe you more than we can ever repay. Well, you can just, start doing uh, that paying thing now. Just glad Charles is okay. <laughs> uh, he's unmarked, praise God. Unfreaking believable. Those guys out there, they were like vampires. No. What's he up to? What is it? Raise the lid. Is it Jesus? Is there Jesus in this box? The sad thing is that you're right. <laughs> but let's connect all the dots, shall we? Yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't come with any face melting, but. Did you, uh. Wait. Did you not, you know. Did not know. If, 
I just thought you were some other chump I was nailing to a piece of wood. <laughs> May the gods have mercy. I did not know. You are already forgiven. Please. Is there anything I can do? For... For your family, perhaps? <laughs> what? Yes. I will need a service from one of your descendants, if you will allow it. Will you be a servant for the light? Yes. Anything. Then raise the end of your sword to my lips. What? Carry the gold with you. It will protect you from evil. Now go in peace. And love God. Todd, why doesn't he say something? It is over. God be praised. Everyone is safe. They are? How do you know? Uh, are you sure? Don't you see the point light that just showed Where up over going? my head? Yeah. The master. <laughs> Goodbye, dear one. You must take very good care of yourself now. Goodbye. Remember, when one path to your destiny is blocked, another will appear. What? <laughs> they consult Michael Bay on this thing? <laughs> Hi, I just walked down here without having to deal with any traps. Thanks for that. Pliable. And very glowy. And now the baby's glowing. Was that? Don't say it. Did you change your shirt? God. Come on. I guess so. I need to look my my best in front of the big man. <laughs> What is it? Something is wrong, yes? None of us could sleep. I came over to see if anyone knew. I... I felt so strange tonight. For heaven's sake, let the man speak. The baby is safe. What baby? That is fabulous. <laughs> it's a baby. That's the best line delivery in this entire game. Yeah? <laughs> where are you going? I have something to tell you. What? All of the things I said before about wanting to know you to be with you oh you must Lord. think i only wanted information it is not true i was so worried about you tonight like there's like no interaction between these two characters for this to happen there's just really? something strangely compelling about this dumpy oh, male lead i just started to realize how much i didn't mean it excuse me gabriel grace grace Grace, you'll never believe. Look at those graphics. 
Yeah, I love. Look at that dynamic shadow and those light. That lighting. Look at that. Look at that. It's not how that lighting would actually work in real life. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> That's the even worse part. We're not quite done with the ending yet, but they decided to stick the credits here. Well, you know, you gotta have the post credit sequence. This is this is an early example of it, I'm sure. This, yeah, really. Hmm. I wonder what is the oldest example of a post credit scene. That's a good question. I don't know. I imagine that would be pretty difficult to research, though. Hmm. Voiceover director, non existence. <laughs> <laughs> the first film to feature a post credit scene is The Silencers, released in March of 1966. Huh. That's interesting. That's a lot further back than I would have expected. <laughs> And all other fans and fan sites. Oh boy. Oh, you so here are your voice <laughs> actors, just in case I miss somebody. You can see some unusual standouts here, like Billy West is up there. We've already talked about uh, Tim Curry being in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, John Delancey, who had like, what, 20 lines in the whole game? Tom Kane was Jesus? Yeah, for like the five lines that were that that he had. The Mystica Encyclopedia. Oh boy. Bank video. Hey, you guys are still around. <laughs> source away what and that's it <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end was, was that a metaphor i don't know ah. my guess is they were trying to set up a, a follow-up um my well i mean it, it's pretty much the way that this this ends is that they were trying to set up uh, a, a sequel that featured grace as the main protagonist which i mean would be kind of cool, but uh, obviously that didn't materialize. No, instead of that, they killed the entire genre they were working in. <laughs> well, I mean, by 1999, it was kind of already on the way out the door. Yeah, this is, this felt like more like a, a nail in the coffin or, you know, take well, an old, yeah, take an old yeller out in the shed. <laughs> definitely didn't do it any favors. You know, it's it took a long time for the, that for adventure games to come back. They kind of came back kind of. of yeah a little bit but who yeah i can see why they didn't get to make the sequel to this one yeah i mean that would be that would be interesting to explore i think um kind of looking back at this whole game this was um you know i can totally understand why this kind of got canned after after this particular installment and then i know i talked at the beginning about uh, the development issues because the higher ups at Sierra wanted it 3D and nobody had worked on it and yeah. they had to bring in a totally different team because a year into development it was basically unplayable. <laughs> uh, it, what's interesting is like you know, like I looked at at Gabriel Knight one and two and the first game I know got a remake which okay yep. I can see that it's a shame that you had to replace all the voice actors but well well. Yeah. <laughs> Gabriel Knight 2, honestly, I think if you tweaked it a bit and redid it, uh, like, if you just follow the structure of the game, you could remake that pretty easily and it would be pretty solid. Like, it was too FMV heavy for its own good, but you know, what was there was at least interesting, if cheesy as hell. But no. a remake of that wouldn't really have to change anything. It would just have to be, you know, better quality Not version awful. of the same game. <laughs> this one? Throw this shit out and just make a new third game. <laughs> <laughs> just toss it out the window this one doesn't count to just disown this one yeah like i i like 
There are, I, admittedly, there are some things I like. I did appreciate the, uh, although it was really esoteric, given the subject matter that it was using, the uh, the whole, like, La Serpent Rouge puzzle was kind of a nice touch. But like I said, just, like, putting the, everything together was, like, really, really esoteric. And esp- again, especially with the subject matter that it was trying to utilize here. And then, like, um, like kind of some of the other aspects. So, like... Well, that, that having puzzle to, is having to like yeah. tail, like that part was like, like really intricate. And, yeah, sorry. the tailing was cool too. Like, yeah, there's there were some neat things here, but honestly, like, like if you remade Gabriel Knight two, you could follow the general flow of that game still. Like, the, you could almost like leave the puzzles and the flow of it as it is. This like mm. you'd have to scrap so much of this. Yeah. Even if, even if you ugh. wanted to keep the story going in the same place, a lot of this would just have to go straight in the trash. Yeah, it this was this was rough from beginning to end and <laughs> yes. you know, those of you that have been along for the ride for the whole time, I'm pretty sure I warned you guys when we started this that <laughs> this one was going to be rough and it really really is. You were not um, kidding. Wh- no, which is unfortunate given that like the first one uh uh the first one was was excellent like it was done really well mm-hmm. everything makes sense there were i think maybe like i would count one place as a cheap death well and the, um, the first one was like i mean it, it, there was there was nothing wrong with gabriel knight one that wasn't wrong with other games in the genre at the time like it was still well, it was that and really it well was done. sierra too yeah like they they knew what the hell they were doing the second one yep. That was when they just started throwing too much money at the problem, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're basically trying to keep up with the latest technology when uh, with a point-and-click adventure game, you don't really need to do that all that much. Well, they were trying to stay relevant. They used to be top of the game, but yeah. Like, this would would definitely be like an indie retro project now where um, like when these came out, they were big releases. Yeah. Shows how far technology has come. Yeah. Woo! And then the whole thing crashes out once you uh, try to click on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told you it's the end. Piss off. Yeah, it's it's basically the uh, the thank you for playing Wing Commander. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's an error or not, but I always I I always find that story funny. Oh, um, I love that. Yeah, that the uh, the original Wing Commander. It when you exit the program, tells you thank you for playing Wing Commander. Which is basically just a custom error message because the game wouldn't actually exit; it just crash. <laughs> yeah, they, they, it was a which it was is a, hilarious. It was a completely <laughs> non like like there were no problems caused by this crash. Didn't cause file problems. Didn't cause problems with your save, but it, it didn't close cleanly. So they hex edited the error message. <laughs> so be like, yep. Yeah, I love that little Say story. Anyway. Else. <laughs> So yeah, as a series, like it's a shame to see what this turned into. Not necessarily due to the writing, not necessarily due to like how the how the whole thing was treated, but just the presentation. I think killed a lot of it, and that's kind of a real shame because there was a lot of potential. They hit the point where I think they didn't know what they were doing on this one, and I you, you can tell that caused a lot of problems. There was cool it, stuff. Well, yes. But... <laughs> But they didn't really know how to make a game like this, I think, was the, is, yeah. seems like the biggest problem. Like, you know, that pendulum puzzle at the end is kind of neat, but it also works like nothing else in the game does. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, you know, oh, well, now you have to click and you move on a grid. You know, now you're moving on chunks of this thing. I, like, but the whole game, he's just been free moving. Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me i did i did say i was going to talk about that that very last thing with uh asmodeus so what i did was the correct solution the thing is is that you would think that clicking on asmodeus and if you click on it it brings up those four options that were there before the inspect uh the dagger the talisman and the exit the thing is is that you would think oh so use the talisman first because you see that kind of when he comes off that you know that buys you some time Mm -hmm. um so you use the talisman first so you would think oh click on its head because that's where you want to show it the thing is is that that doesn't work (laughs) like you click if you click on his head and then click the talisman button nothing happens lovely 
So you actually have to like, you have to move and click somewhere else on his body. Like, I had I had to do that about eight times. Um, I actually had to watch somebody else do that to realize that, oh, for whatever reason, clicking on his head is like the the options are bugged for some reason, Lovely. or it doesn't register, or it doesn't count it as part of the the character, which is just really stupid. <laughs> You know, I, something else I noticed, they didn't show you what was on the note. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was I'm, intended to set up a sequel. I'm generically fucking off now. See ya. <laughs> Aw, now I'm sad. <sighs> Maybe Madeline will let me stay with her after. <laughs> well, now that we've witnessed the uh, death of the adventure game industry... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um i don't really have any other final thoughts i think i got through everything so uh yeah like I, this... I, I'd, I'd love to see this game get that sequel but i don't see any way that that would actually happen mm, i don't know i mean you never know yeah, but... it's true I mean, that would be uh, that would be an interesting thing. They, I mean, they remade they, the first one they did. with Jane Jensen. I mean, so. they, Shenmue Three finally came out. So what the hell do I know? <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, and it, it needs a sequel. What a surprising no one. <laughs> all right. Well, <sighs> hope you enjoyed our run through all of the Gabriel Knight series. Uh, join us next time with something completely different. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.